Hi guys, this is Mick from Yanti. I'm here today to talk to you about the Yanti Neo Classic, a device that we've created together with um, our satellite company of Signet. Some of you people out there might already know this unit as an i5 um, if you're in Korea or ever purchased anything from Korea. Um, we kind of released it there early to see, you know, if it was good, something wrong with it, customer feedback and all these things. And now quite a few number of tweaks and revisions later, we're ready to launch this as a full-blown Yanti product under the name of the Yanti Neo Classic. Um, so before I go on, let's take a quick look at the packaging and the content. And I should also um, maybe mention to you that this is not going to be like an in-depth technical uh, review of the whole product. This is going to be a presentation. I'm going to stay as unbiased as I can. Um, but of course, this is a Yanti video. So, you know, enjoy seeing it and we hope it answers some of your questions. Take a look. Right, so let's take a look at the product itself. Um, these are the manual batteries. You know, it's very similar to an Ego battery, and as you can see, when you press on it, the LED on the button actually lights up, and there's an LED at the end of it. If you click on it five times, one, two, three, four, five, it shuts off. If you click on it five times again, one, two, three, four, five, it turns back on. Now, um, this battery is, as I said, almost identical to an Ego battery, and this also goes for the size of them. They're practically the same size. Now, everything you can put on a Yancy Ego, you can put on a Yancy Neo Classic. Um, they're completely interchangeable in that regard. You could also opt for the, um, the automatic battery, which looks like this. This has absolutely no button on it. All it has is actually an LED at the end of it. And for those of you that are not familiar to the automatic batteries, um, basically what happens is that once you assemble your e-cigarette, you draw on the mouthpiece. Once you draw on it, it will automatically engage the battery, light up the LED and provide smoke. Once you let go of drawing, it will stop the LED, stop the smoke and so forth. Um, automatic batteries do have kind of a history. Um, previously, it, it was uh, a problem with liquid getting inside this part here that could end up damaging the battery. We reinforced and redesigned this battery so this together with the Puramizer for the Antonio Classic, a, the chance of this happening is almost slim to none. Still, we do say, you know, take your precautions, but this, we also say this with manual batteries. Whenever you want to charge this, use a piece of cloth, wipe in here before you actually stick it into the charger. Um, that's just common advice, and then you should be good to go. Having said that, it is a really strong battery, and it's a very, very good battery. Both batteries last uh, as long as the Ego battery does, which means that for the average too heavy user, it's about a day. Um, on top of the batteries, you have, you know, kind of the, the brain behind the system. You have the Puromizer. Now, the Puromizer is, is kind of a special thing. It's, it took us almost like a year to actually refine and develop this. Um, this is not just a product we slapped together. We, we spent a lot of time actually researching um, this to provide the best wicking, the best um, taste sensation, the best throat hit, everything. And at the same time, make, made it you know leak-proof, so liquid doesn't pour out of it, and so on and so forth. Um, this product contains the best of many worlds. It actually contains a bit of our Tesla uh, technology, which we discussed on our forum years ago. Uh, kind of the theory behind it. Um, it contains bits of Clearmeister technology and contains bits of Cartmeister technology, and then some other elements. Um, so. It's, it's been a kind of <laughs> it's been a kind of a hard road, but we're actually very pleased with the end product of it. Now the way this works is that you I don't know if you can see this. Let's see. There's a window here. This window actually shows um, how much liquid is inside the device. If you turn it around, you see a similar window, but this time you have a silicon flap right here. Um, we'll get back to that in a second. First of all. The mouthpiece contains actually kind of a, a small, um, nice thing. You cannot pull the mouthpiece off, off by doing this. You have to wiggle it. You have to kind of like, you can probably hear this on the camera. And once you take this off, you can see that inside there's a metal ring. Now, um, this metal ring we call the liquid stopper um, because its only purpose in life is to stop liquid from getting from this part and into your mouth. And it, it does so brilliantly. Um, there's absolutely no liquid coming to your mouth. And if you somehow should get liquid in your mouth, you know, tell us how, because we haven't found a way to do it. Um, if you want to refill this, 
this is where the silicon flap actually shines. Um, let me just demonstrate this for you. You take a nail and you simply pull it back and this provides an open hole. It's kind of hard to actually show you how big this hole is. But the thing is, it's big enough for any normal bottle. We're going to have our own special bottles made with a special nozzle that you can actually stick into and just fill it up. But, you know, it will work with everything. So in order to do this, I will just show you. Um, let's see if I'm doing this right. I'm just dripping straight into the hole and I'm actually not paying that much attention because, you know, it's on camera. I think I got like 12, 13 drops in there and as you can see, I actually didn't spill any. So it's quite a good big hole. In order to shut this, you do like you would on a, on a Ziploc. You simply do like this with your finger and it's shut. Nothing comes out of it. Not here, not here and not here. Except for smoke, of course, which is kind of important. Um, once you've done this, what you do next is that you screw this onto your battery. But before you do so, use this thing. Now this is what we call a golden airflow regulator, but we do like fancy names and it is just a metal ring. It doesn't make it any less genius though, because what you do with it is that you put it onto your battery like, like this, you screw it all the way down, and once it's down, and this will fit the ego as well by the way, um, once you've, you've put this in, you take your pyramids and you put this on top of there, uh, let's see, like so. Let's see if I can show you the gap. There's a small gap here of about a millimeter. Now, with the ring all the way down, this provides for a kind of light, airy draw. Um, so this is the manual battery. I will just activate it and actually, you know, give it a go and show you. So it's a very light, um, pleasant experience. If I want to, you know, have a more densely packed draw, I'm going to screw the ring the other way, or turn the ring the other way, actually. Um, this kind of blocks the air holes a little bit, and it makes for more dense, more compact draw, like so. Now, um, Let's actually try the same thing on the automatic battery so you can see how it works. I should also notice, uh, I should also tell you that for the Puromizer, um, it works brilliantly with uh, PG liquid. As you all know, maybe all of you know, um, there are kind of two major types of liquid. There is the BG liquid, which, which is a kind of thick liquid, and there's the PG liquid, which is a, a kind of thin liquid, and PG is kind of more common anyways. Um, this Puromizer does not work with the BG liquid. We've optimized it for the, the PG liquid, and you know, if you're going to use BG on it, it's it's going to be on your own responsibility uh, doing so because our tests show us that it's simply not good enough for wicking. It's going to taste burnt, it's not going to taste good, so you know, just keep that in mind. This is the uh, Jensen Your Classic assembled on an automatic battery. The air ring is all the way down. And we are going to turn the ring the other way to make a more dense air draw. which is actually instantly feelable. Um, so with the golden airflow regulator, you get kind of the, the opportunity to, you know, place it all the way down, a little bit up in the middle, all the way up and so on, and actually uh, find the kind of draw which you like, which is a very good thing because different liquids and different people are, um, you know, um, combined to give like different taste sensations. For instance, when I'm smoking one kind of tobacco, I like to have it all the way up so it's kind of a dense air draw. It reminds me very much of what that tobacco, you know, used to be um, as a cigarette. But when I'm when I'm smoking something more like a, a fruity flavor, I want a more airy draw. So it's it's something that you do get to regulate yourself, and we think this is a really really quick way of doing it. Um, and that's that's actually all of it. That's actually everything there is to say about this one. As I mentioned, if you do want a more technical, in-depth review of this, um, you can either go to yancy.com and read the specs on it, or you could simply wait for some of the other reviewers to actually get their chance of, um, of telling you what they think. Our whole philosophy behind this is not that it's beginning e-cigarette. It's not for beginners. It's not for the advanced users. It's for everyone. Um, 
it's no secret that, you know, um, as the head designer of Yancy, I, I have access to almost every device in the world and I've tested almost every device in the world. And I'm still smoking on the Yancy Ego with a dripping system, which is probably the most troublesome system you can do because you always have to carry a bottle with you. Um, after I got this, I'm, I'm not dripping anymore. It's that good. And I can comfortably say that because I don't use any other tank systems. Um, they all seem good in the beginning and then, I, I don't know, they become kind of boring, they're not full flavored. The Puromizer for me is full bodied, full flavored, it's consistent, it gives the same throat hit, the same vapor every time, I can taste my liquid, it's really that good to me. So for me, this has definitely been um, kind of a vaping changing uh, experience and I hope it will be for you too. So. The Yanty Neo Classic should be available in stores in about actually a week from this video latest, um, give or take, depending on where you live. I hope you enjoyed the, the presentation and you know uh, hop on to yanty.com and you know go check out our blogs, our news, and if you want, uh, jump on the e-cigarette form and actually throw us a comment. Have a nice day. Bye.